In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to configure default applications for new user accounts. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here I have this important note saying that this method works only for new user accounts. That means after executing the snippet that I have here, only the users that will be created in the future will be affected. The users that already exist on the computer will not be affected by the settings that will be applying on the computer. And this means that this method can be very useful if you're preparing new computers for the users. And also it means that this is a very useless method if you're trying to change the default programs for already existing users. And I will begin this video by creating a default application associations file. And this file contains information on what file type needs to be opened by what application. For example, for PDF, we want it to be opened with Adobe Acrobat Reader. And after that, I will be using that configuration file to set Adobe Acrobat Reader as my default PDF reader. And also I will set Google Chrome as my default browser. And now I will show you how to create the default application associations file. And for that, I will go to my VMware workstation because here I have prepared few virtual machines. So on the first virtual machine, I will be creating the associations file. And on the second one, I will be applying that configuration for the new user accounts. And first I need to configure everything here, how I want it to be for the new user accounts. So for that, I will go to my start menu, search for default apps. I will open it. And here we want to configure all the default applications that we want. Like I said, I will be configuring Adobe Acrobat Reader as my default PDF reader and Google Chrome as my default browser. And this computer is a clean Windows 11 installation with only Adobe Reader and Google Chrome installed. And now I will click on Adobe Acrobat Reader that I see here because I want it to be my default application for the PDF files. As you can see by default, Microsoft Edge is the default application for the PDF files. I will click on it. And I will set it to Adobe Acrobat Reader. I will click on set a default and it changed in here. Now let's go back to default apps and now let's search for Google Chrome. I will click on it and here I will set it as my default browser. As you can see, most of the values here changed and you can modify the ones that didn't if you want to. Anyways, that's basically it. And now that we have everything in here how we want, we can export the configuration. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the command that I will be using. Basically, we are using DISM, modifying, well, not modifying, but reading the online image using the command export default application associations and then providing the location where we want to export the XML file. So I'll click on the button right here to copy the command, go back to my virtual machine, then I will open CMD window and I will run it as administrator. Then I will insert the command, press enter. As you can see, the operation completed successfully. If I go to my C drive in my virtual machine, here we can see the associations file. I will right click it and then I will copy it. And then I will copy the file to my downloads folder on my host machine. And now I will right click on the file and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, we have an XML file with the information on what application opens what files. And we can use this XML file as is, or we can just remove all the unnecessary applications. Because in most cases, we only want to leave the changes that we made. We want to leave Google Chrome and also Adobe Acrobat Reader. So basically we can remove all of this, then all of this, and so on and so on until you get something like looking like this as you can see it's basically the same xml file but we only have the changes that we want we have all the google chrome entries and also the adobe acrobat reader entry so basically when you create an xml file with the configuration that you want we can basically just replace this part right here that we have in this snippet. And after that, we can use this snippet to configure the default applications for new user accounts. And this snippet will create this XML file on the computer. And after that, it will use this to import this default applications configuration file. And this configuration will be applied for all the new users that will be created on that computer. Anyways, now I'll click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet. And then I will go to my VMware workstation to my second virtual machine where we didn't modify anything in the default apps configuration. As you can see, Adobe Reader is still not the default. And also Google Chrome is also not a default for this user account. 
And like I said, because the snippet will affect only new user accounts, the user that will be executing the command will not be affected. Now to execute the snippet, I will go to my start menu. I will search for, for PowerShell and I will run it as administrator. Then I will click yes. I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page. Press enter. As you can see, the operation completed successfully. But like I said, nothing changed in the default apps for this user. And to see the changes, we need to create another user account. So for that, I will go back to my PowerShell window. And here I will create another user account. I will use command net user. Then I will create join user. And let's add add. Press enter. The operation completed successfully. Now let's sign in to John and see what how the default application list looks for him. So let's sign in to John. John user was successfully created. Now if I go to the default applications list, click on Adobe Acrobat Reader. Here we can see that Adobe Reader is my default PDF reader. If I go to Google Chrome, at least if I can find it, here it is. We can see that we have all the necessary associations to make Google Chrome our default browser. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.